Here's all you need to know about cutlery, how to hold, use and position. This is a fairly classic British table setting. Forks on the left hand side, knives and spoons on the right. Nothing is above the setting. You've all seen the films Titanic or Pretty Woman. We really do start using the cutlery on the outside and working our way in. Before we begin, the napkin goes on our lap. The first course is soup. Conventionally, it's held in the right hand like this. When eating soup, we scoop away from us and then eat the soup from the side of the spoon closest to us. When resting, the soup spoon should go just under the soup plate on the base plate at an angle. Imagine the plate is a clock. It goes at six o'clock. Next, fish cutlery. We hold these just like a normal knife and fork. The resting and finish positions are the same as with any knife and fork, which we'll cover now during the main course. Finger down the knife, please. It's not a pen, so don't hold it like one. When resting, place the cutlery at 340, if you imagine they are the hands of a clock. The bridge of the fork should rest over the blade of the knife. When finished, the cutlery is placed at 630 on the plate, like so. Now, there are some international variants to this. In the USA, the cutlery will be placed at a slight angle, at 420, to signal you've finished. In much of Europe, the cutlery would actually go closer to 315, with the tines of the fork facing down. Finally, the cutlery for the sweet course. Usually, we should use both a fork and a spoon, and the same rules apply. When resting like so, at 3.40. When finished at 6.30. Or 4.20. Or 3.15. It's up to you. Remember, once a piece of cutlery is dirty, it never goes back on the table. My thanks to Arthur Price and Royal Crown Derby.